we've got a monitor here that isn't particularly healthy. Um, it's doing some weird stuff and if you change the mode it changes a little bit as the uh, power requirements change. It's also making a weird buzzing noise but um, I think it's also been switching off by itself so I'm going to do a quick video just to show before and we will investigate and see if we can somehow fix it. So we are just simply unclipping the front and should be coming away from the back now. In theory the two halves should be separating. I've disconnected this, this was the uh, button control, uh, there's a ribbon connecting it and also the speakers come off this so I can move these out of the way and I think I have found what I needed to find in this bit under here. I think this is separate so this should pull off revealing some additional screws. is my theory. Yep, there we go. So here we've got some additional screws that we can undo. Can you even see that? Yes you can. And then we will be able to free this from the plastic and I suspect there will be some faulty capacitors in the power supply. I mean, it's it's a 22 inch monitor. It's got a pretty good picture display, I think, when it's working. And um, uh, we may as well fix it rather than, you know, end up just throwing it away. So under here, we've got our four screws and then we'll be able to see the state of play. So this is Chimmy Opto Electronics Corp. Several cables here that are plugged in. So I've undone these connections and we should be able to lift the lid off. It looks like we are going to need to unscrew this. This is also connected. And hopefully I'll remember where the screws go, they all look fairly similar. 
Oh, and also the VGA. Because this has got these screws. Okay, we should be free. And we are. And straight away, we can see there is a Delta power supply unit, a control board here, and we have what looks like several faulty capacitors. So, that's frustrating. We have I would say one, two, three, four, five, six capacitors that are bulging there. And one of them is actually leaking out of the top. So the frustrating thing there is that we would need to replace probably all of them to resolve this issue. I now have some replacement capacitors for these two. Um, I need to remove these so I can actually read what these other ones are before ordering them. Um, but I thought I'd start with the two worst ones that are leaking. And um, we'll see what happens when we replace these. I've got these two bits. I'm using a different soldering iron with detachable ends. And um, we're still waiting for this to get up to temperature. There's one out. So we can now have a better look at where these other ones are. And then I'll write those down and then order them if needed. So I've written these down starting at the top. We have a 25 volt 220 UF. So these two are matching. We have a 10 volt 2200. With 10 volt 1000 UF and these two that I've removed are 1000 UF and 25 volts and I'll be replacing these. And we need to solder those and then cut off the ends. We're going to start putting this back together. Um, I think it went this way around. We replace these two capacitors. We need to reconnect these. This is where the it says this area is high voltage, so we're being relatively careful. And I need to find these screws, I've put them all in a bag. I think, from memory, there was one of these with a washer for this corner. Um, and the rest did not have a washer.
Should we try it? I think we should. Let's get some power. Okay, so I've connected the video cable. I'm about to connect the power cable. Making that noise again that we're not a fan of. But let's press what we think might be the power button. Yep, that one. Okay. So, we've got a non flickering screen. That's good. One of these buttons was to switch between the different modes. Last one. I'm going to switch it off. Nope. This one. Text. Don't make victim out. So on that one, it's fine. And we'll put it back together at this point. Um, I'll probably look up those other pastors. Might order those at some point. Replace them. But for the time being, I'm going to call that a um, success. I kind of like the look of it without a frame. Maybe we could wall mount it. We have put this back together. It's just a couple of screws I forgot to put in. But we can now put the front back on. Which should just clip into place. We got there in the end. We have a monitor that makes some noise when it's in these bits, but the rest of the time it is fine. And we got rid of the wobbly effect. <laughs>